for his excellent, his or her excellent performance as what honor in biblical and minister, ministerial studies class of 2019. Given this 14th day of February 2020 at the LJC compound, overflow Brave Lamanan, Kabatan City, Negros Occidental, signed by Reverend Roberto C. Nguyen Jr., our school administrator. For a Consider this a distinct honor to to to, to confer this uh, certificate of recognition to these uh, students who have exemplary uh, for their exemplary performance for the span of uh, from July up to now of their uh, school activities. Uh, each of them have certain specialties. Each of them have different gifts, and I believe it will show off. Kung wala na sila dito sa school, wala na sila sa mga local churches, and I know na each of them is 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 ready an instrument that can be used by God. Only God knows what He has planted in their hearts. But tonight we are going to give uh, recognition to the academic performance. So this is uh, purely out of academic, uh, from the academic standpoint, the following students, tatlo lang ni sila, no? Kay, uh, this is mo uh, ang uh, decision lang sa atong uh, administration sa nasunahan, kung mo na nami, at si Debra, na nag-receive sa Sibina Award. Okay? So, the rest of you, I believe, no may award to Musa Gino. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, for the third honor, congratulations, Brother Jeff T. L. Maynard. <laughs> Brother Jeff T. L. will be receiving a bronze meat medal. <laughs> Congratulations, Brother Humer P. Junabai. <laughs> Brother Humer will receive a silver medal award. And for the first honor, it is my distinct privilege to call on Sister Charibe S. Martir.
I praise to give the glory and honor to our Lord Jesus Christ to be in this momentous event. To our dear pastors, I distinguish our guest speaker, Reverend Jules Verne Arindon, brethren, co-graduates, families and friends, and visitors, a blessed evening to everyone. I am here standing in front of you with this feeling that I can express in words. Only God knows. In behalf of my fellow Bible school students, uh, graduates, I am humbled to say thank you all for the unwavering support and endless prayers extended to us during our entire journey here in the Bible school. Our success, I can say, was made possible because of the people who never failed to encourage us to pursue and continue what we have started until we were able to have gone this far. And being with us tonight truly overwhelmed us. To our mentors, allow me to mention your names, Sister Hansel, Brother Mark, uh, Chilo Nino, uh, Pastor Nino, Brother Mark Naini and Sister Deborah, and you all will never be forgotten. Your sacrifices and endless support, both materially and spiritually, are our inspiration to finish the race that was set before us. Your godly examples were all our sleepless nights. Your dedication to impart us with necessary knowledge. We need to know that deepens our understanding and commitment to our Lord Jesus Christ. His body, the church, and in developing our personal growth for the work of the ministry wherein God may have called us. Let me not forget to acknowledge our local church, pastors, church families, and elders brethren and friends who encourage us the most to, fe to face our fears, to conquer every doubt and every overcome every discouragement just to enroll here in Bible school. Some may not be here including my very old pastor, but I am here standing for ever grateful to him. I give God the glory to my family, though they were not here because they are still unbelievers, despite of some discouragement and coldness in family relation because of my decision to follow Jesus, I am giving you all the credit. God knows the very desire of my heart and my prayers for you will that someday we will be one in the service to our King. Thank you so much for the life and for raising me up the person I am now. I need to be strong and be seen more courageous to win this battle because I believe what the Bible says. Greater is he that is in me than that is in the world. As what pastors always say, Bahala na wala datong mas na may dati. Patay na kung patay. Tutan na patay na na lang nung gihapunta at least kita alam kita sa ginoon. Amen. To my fellow graduates, thank you for the memories and bonding we have shared together. Surely, serving God with fellow believers and seekers of truth is a life fulfilling experience. Our heydays, heartaches, especially during exam days, exam days is over. Thank you, Lord. At last, I can say, we all did it. As the one standing here, I encourage to remain faithful in the Lord. We are just sojourners in this world. Our mission is to help the lost souls and encourage those who are in need. Let's remember what we have learned in the Bible school. Always and now, it is our time to prove ourselves 
in the mission field and be a blessing to others. Let us continue to grow in the Word of God. Live a holy life that God can find us faithful in all these things. Apostolic Bible College is an amazing training ground for all of us. Let us not allow to it to be wasted. As our theme says, the fields are white for the harvest. And God needs more labor. It is our desire to be called in his vineyard, and so let us pursue it with prayer and determination that no matter what we can say, Lord, here I am, send me. Thank you, and God bless us all. Amen. Thank you so much for joining, and once again, congratulations. Music is an expression of the soul. It moves emotions and feels with the movement of character.